start, Max. I've had a bad enough day as it is. Oh, you've had a bad day. All right. Yeah, it's funny that, because I'm the one who's had to sit there all afternoon watching you cock it up. So what? I said a few silly things. So what? It's you that agreed to meet the bleeding no, social worker in Jackson. No, 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 go on, carry on. Talk me through. What would you think you're doing back there? Sticking up for myself. That's what you think I'm prepared to listen to Jack's nonsense. It's a joke, you know what I mean? The whole thing you've like turned over a new leaf. I think you're sorting yourself Don't out. You dare. You're sitting there Don't talking you like an idiot. I'm trying. You think I want to wear this? Oh, this is stabbing my brain. That's what. Brain? You ain't even got a brain, Randy. You're just a crackhead loser. Say that again, and I'm gone. Go on, say it again. A crackhead loser who's gonna mess everything up for me and Abby. Unless you sort yourself out, do you hear me? Riley, wake up, come on. Riley, this morning, got your coffee. No, thanks. Oh, you're not gonna want one of these then, are you? Bacon sandwich. You are evil. Yeah? You're hungry. You look worse than I feel. Well, not for long. I'm gonna go down the local pool, have a shower and all that. Get myself sorted out. You're gonna come with me. I'm not going anywhere with you. Well, you need me and I need you, all right? So I don't care if you had my gut. All we've got right now is each other. We ain't even got that. I just bought you breakfast in bed. It's got to be worth something, isn't it? I used to brew tanya with bacon. Wait, let's get it straight, all right? I'm not wooing you. Talked about this, yeah? Got to make it work, plain and simple. You'll never get her, you know. You might fool child services for a while, but no, you don't know nothing about us. <laughs> I know you're a junkie. It was. Been clean for months. Thanks. Oh, that's enough, is it? How many sleepless nights is it going to take for you to go looking for something to take the edge off, eh? That little girl deserves better. What? Than, than, than a home? Family? <laughs> what? <laughs> you and Max. You're a joke. Although it ain't funny. Look at his track record. Ask your sister. Don't you bring her into this. Oh, don't ask Martin. Ask Carmel. Ask Laura. That's enough, Donna. No, no, sorry. Someone has got to say this. Someone has got to think of that poor little kid. She's a baby. A life. Not some doll to be dressed up and played happy family. No, this with. ain't playing, right? This ain't. She needs a mother. She does. One that will be there for her, or and that's gonna stick a needle in her arm at the first sign of trouble. Go and have one of your own if you're so desperate. You were brilliant. Her face. Right, you can't help yourself, for any. <laughs> Now, what's, what's right, the matter with you? What, you think it's it. all a joke, do you? Because I ain't a joke, no. all right? It's my granddaughter. Do you understand me, all right? It's, it's, it's my last chance. Mine too. I know what no, you're No, seriously, thinking. right? I must need my head examined like and get mixed up. You're trouble, Rainy. You've always been trouble. What she said no, about go on. me. Go on, what are you going to say? What are you going to say? Go on, to make me try and feel sorry for you. No, but That's there are reasons. you know what to do, Rainy, all right? You lie, you cheat, you manipulate. Tanya knew it and your mum knew it. Yeah, well, they don't have many good things to say about you either. Abby wouldn't have even been on that roof if it weren't. I'm just saying, we both made yeah. mistakes, Max. You're all a mistake, right? Do that again, all right? You ain't gonna get a penny. I don't care! Free, Do you know all that? So we trying to jeopardise everything? We're we trying to mess everything I up! I ain't messed anything up! We had all this last night. Nobody can prove that I called the market inspector on Donna. And so what? She needs a good slapping anyway, you know that. It's just a few fags, Max. Don't you think you're overreacting a tiny little massive bit? No. Oh, what, you suddenly got memory loss? You can't remember what you done. What kind of vicious idiot you was six months back. Sorry, Max, but Abby dying does not wipe it all out. You are not exactly a saint, that Max. That's exactly what I'm trying to do, Rainy, yeah? I'm trying to make everything right from now on. Yeah, set up on the back of a lie. I am your unfair advantage over my own mother. That's why. That's exactly why. That's exactly why, Rainy. You're just trying to get your mum's attention. Oh, yeah, hey, you're sleeping in your sister's bed. Woman. Isn't what if you're wedding ring? Trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to make it all respectable. I'd be better off stacking shelves. You ask me, darling. Right, so what's that yesterday for? The scintillating conversation. What? Well, I want you to move out. So 
So it won't work. Well, I want you to move out. I, I never said that I need that, do But I? you needed to be married. You need to be married because you need a woman by your side. That'd be any real advantage. Thousands of people out there are single parents. Absolutely, yeah, I know all that, but I, I never said that I need that, do But I? you needed to be married. You need to be married because you need a woman by your side. And this time you thought you'd write the rules down. Actually dictate them. Go hassle-free. And you're kicking me out now because you kissed me. Yes, yes, and you liked it. That ain't, that ain't true at all. I can't have kids. Yeah. This ain't working. Oh, well, that's what ex drug addicts do, Rainy. They say anything. I can always crawl around my mother. I won't be the one who don't see Abby again. Was it the pressure, Rainey? What, you couldn't have it? Listen. It's a joke, you know? I mean, a couple of days ago, you're talking about what colour you want to paint Abby's room about this. Should have known, Rainey. Should have known. A couple of days ago, when you come back, when he's off your head, I should have seen it coming. Stop! Someone put it through the letterbox. Oh, of course they did. What, what, they, what, they posted it with a takeaway menu or what? It's true. So why is it in your pocket? Why is it in your pocket, Rainey, not in the bin? Yeah. I've got my phone again. Oh. Well, can you just go back to work? Ow! All right. I'll get it. I thought we were getting on. I thought we was a team. Why, why would you even do that? Why, why would you even don't do that to me? Don't it like you don't know. What, are you blind, Max? Are you really that thick? Size of your ego, why do you think? Why do you think? Telling a woman like Mel what to do and expecting her to go with it? Clearly you picked the wrong bird, Jack. Clearly you are as thick and idiotic as your stupid, ugly brother. What? See, you, you had something special. Could have been amazing right in front of your fat face. And you went and blew it, Jackie boy. Why? Why are you Branning boys so completely bloody useless? Have you and Max had a fallout? Word of advice. You don't get risk-free relationships, right? You don't make up the rules. False yes and no answers. God knows what happened to you and him that made you such a pair of pathetic control freaks. All right, you've had a fallout then. But I'll tell you what. Guaranteed. You don't think on, it'll be you, him, old, lonely, living together in matching cardigans. Well, well, well. I hear the Branning brothers have been brawling in public. I wonder why. It unnerved, did I, Max? And you? Always knew you was a tramp. Some women are barren for a reason. You evil cow! We should just let her walk no, all over us, should we? Lucky. She don't have you up for cow. GBH. You calling old. Max! <laughs> Take her. What? Go for a walk or something, I don't know. I'm not gonna tell you again. There you go. We need to stop all this, can't you see that? We gotta stop using an innocent baby like this. Put her back in a buggy. Not till you and me have talked. Put her back. Come on, give me 10 minutes. Come on. Come here, come here. Over my dead body. Yeah, whatever. thought it'd be your sister who destroyed him. I mean, she's got more... You and men. Your, your experience is different. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this. Best thing we're going to do is have a holiday. All of us. Now that Tanya's getting better... Oh, she's going to be so thrilled. But she's not getting better, is she? You, you haven't been to see her for months, have you? Quick little phone call. You really do think I'm stupid, don't you? I don't want to worry you. Little holiday. You and baby happy. And the mother that just tried to kill me with a frying pan. It's... It's my headache. It's clearing up. 
I suddenly remembered everything that happened last night. You withdraw your application for Abby. Or I tell the police everything. And you think that'll make him take you back? We both know it's not you he wants. It's the baby. Always has been. Abby comes first for both of us. Tough place, prison. Even for an hard nut like you. You're a monster. and I'll carry you in.